must have known God it was your wanna. It's the way you see it. Oh my God, I'm so grateful, so happy. Hello, everybody. I love you. I love you so much, so much, so much, so much. So much with you. I get so happy I can come home, step down, Jesus. Woo! Come on, let's get on one accord this morning. Because of the fact of the glory of the living God, by the supernatural power of the Almighty God, for the Lord already, already, stay ready. How about that? Stay ready to manifest. Stay ready, God, a local boy. Ah. Stay ready to manifest. Stay ready to move. Stay ready. That man, stay ready. All he needs you to do is be in position and be ready. Oh, the baroque boy. It came out, my, it came out. The Holy Ghost is down deep in my heart. God say, I stay ready. All I need for you to do is be ready. That means, baby, don't be moved out of your place. Don't be moved. A rope of fire away from your faith. You stand still on the word of the living God, and you're gonna watch the power of God move on your behalf in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. We don't care who don't like it. Let the haters be what they are. Haters, because of the fact God is a lover, and all we know to do is love. You better hear the Holy Ghost. My Bible tell me that the power of love is the greatest force in the universe, and the power of love is breaking down strongholds. The power the power of love is destroying every work of the devil. The power of love, are you hearing the Holy Ghost? The power of love is it's, it's, it's like it's like it's unifying, you know, the real people back together. It's unifying families and children. It's unifying the repeat of God because the power of love. Yes, we're gonna be talking about this first fruit, but everything starts out with love. Hear what the Spirit of the Living God saying to the church. It's a difference to when over Sunday when God speaks to the church versus speaking to the Christian. You see, church. I mean, church folks, they just go to church. Are you hearing the Holy Ghost? But I'm talking to the real people that's Christians, meaning you have a real transformation from the Father, which I'm born. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, I want you to prepare your heart, and I want you to prepare your mind, and I want you to put yourself in position and say, God, I'm ready. Whatever it is you have my name on it, Lord, I'm ready. I want it to you pay for me to have it. It belongs to me in the name of Jesus. Now let's get on one accord and let's pray the word of the living God. And let's see the power of God move on your behalf. Everybody that woke up this morning, that was by the grace of God. So you got enough to thank God for right there. You got to be more a little Sunday. Be more humble. Be more grateful. It's called gratitude. Are you hearing the Holy Ghost? That means God is saying, when you abase yourself, I know how to elevate you. When you abase yourself, I I know how to lift you when you abase yourself. I know how to exalt you when you abase yourself. Are you hearing the Holy Ghost? Because He's talking directly to you. I go to You better not put your hand on the computer. You better not put your hand wherever you watch this broadcast. You better not put your hands upon it. Because you know why? Because God demands blessings to your house. He demands blessings to your children. He demands blessings to your finances. He demands blessings to your business. He demands blessings over be to God. You better hear the Holy Ghost talk to you. It's not by man's might. It's not by man's power. It's done by the power of the Holy Ghost. And God is saying God ready to do this thing. Glory be to God. All he needed that one somebody. That may be that one somebody that's watching me right now. That God is saying because of the fact of your prayers. Glory to God. You're keeping everything together on the job. Because of your prayers. You're keeping everything together in your house. Because of your prayer. My Bible tell me that God told Abraham. Of God. It's time for you to see the manifestation of God. It's time for you to see the glory. 
glory of God. It's time, glory of to God. A minute you all saying out of your mouth, I've gone through so much, but that's all right, God said. He said, it was only to make you and not break you. It was only to build you and not to tear you down. It was only to get you ready for the next level that God got coming your way. All you got to do is say, God, I'm ready for it in the name of the Father. I'm ready for it in the name of the Son. I'm ready for it in the name of the Holy Ghost. I'm ready for it, glory be to God. And God says, all you got to do is be ready, glory to God. Be in your position like you should be from the beginning. He said, because I stay ready, thus says the Lord. Oh, he don't exalt nothing. You better hear the Holy Ghost. I'm a set, I'm a set, I'm a set. I'm going to say it so repeatedly until it get down in your heart. Because when God hear your heart, glory be to God. Heaven begin to cry out and heaven begin to shake and heaven begin to move it. And hell get the local choir. They get so scary, they get weakened in their boots. What you mean, Pastor's time? Now you became a threat to the devil. And the devil don't like you about right now. And the devil don't like Bridget about right now. But ain't nothing in hell the devil can do to you. And ain't nothing in hell the devil can do to Bridget. You better hear the Holy Ghost. And you better stop because such a God talk to you. You said the devil can mind you. I tell you over and over again. If the devil can remind you of your past, you remind the devil of his future. You tell Know it. This breakthrough that's coming in your house, baby. Honey, it's all God. And he 
he don't want you to give his glory to nobody. He don't want you to give his glory to your status. He don't want you to give his glory to your education. He don't want you to give his glory to whatever you call your money. He don't want you to give his glory to nothing. Because the fact if your money could have healed you, your money would have healed you last night. So a lot of glory be to God. You need something greater than the earth. I just had it from the Holy Ghost. Undoubtedly, you need something greater than the earth. And it's called the divine glory be to God. That means it comes down from heaven. That means can't nobody do it but God. That means only God can get this job done. But God said, all I need is a co-labor. All I need is a co-worker. All I need is somebody to the God of God. Connect their faith with my word. And watch me manifest on your behalf. Begin to activate the principles of the Almighty God. Because when you speak the word of God out of your mouth from the abundance of your heart of the rock of fire, you begin to activate the power of the almighty God oh my God one thing about God he's such a compassionate God he's such a loving God God said listen up you all oh, rock of fire when you mess with one of mine it's like putting your finger in my eye can you imagine how irritating that is if somebody put their finger in your eye God says oh God glory be to God or the devil messing with my own because the fact all the devil could do was irritate you. Ain't nothing else he could do to you. Because when God be for you, oh, the Roman Roman boy, why about what I'm trying to come up against you? God got your heart. God got your back. God got you. Go and be to God. It ain't because, let me tell you something, before I can even get in on the air, good. Do, do you not know, baby? Let me tell you something. When you wake up, go and be to God. You ain't not a cheese, your father. You ain't not. Jesus, your Lord, you ain't not the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the living God, living down on the earth, and living on the inside of you. Oh, but Jesus, that just like when the whole city came against the prophet, and oh, it looked like everything and everybody and everywhere, when everything was against him. But my Bible says, when God opened up the eyes of the prophet spirit, and he began to see beyond what he saw in the natural, that's my God trying to bring you right now. He's trying to get you beyond what you're looking at in the natural. He's trying to get you to look beyond. Oh, glory be to God and see it through the realm of the Lord. I'm like a boy, and see it, glory be to God through the eyes of faith on the realm of the spirit where my father dwell. My Bible tells me that God is a spirit. My Bible tells me that I'm a spirit. My Bible tells me the word of God is a spirit. My Bible tells me everything I receive from God first is going to be in the spirit. That means that's when your faith begins to operate. And when your faith begins to operate, whatever dwells in the spirit, oh, but God Make you look like a fool every time if you have to depend on your emotions. But I can't. 
God, right? And I understood it very clearly when the Lord said, you know, my baby cooking was saying, Mama, did you see this? I said, what you talking about, baby? She said, Mama, she said, you know the Lord said it like this. As you begin to tell the people, faith is a risk. I said, yeah, that's right. That's the word of the living God. When you begin to study, you find these things out. She said, but you know what it is, Mama? I said, yeah, talk to me, baby. You know, risk is something that, uh, you know, you, you, you can't see it right now. Oh! I got to dance on my own self. You know what? You got to learn to dance at your own toy. You got to learn to rejoice. Come on, you're going to talk to you in the house. You got to learn to praise and glory to your God. When you feel like you don't have nothing to praise him for, you got to learn to stand when you don't feel like uh, that you have anything to stand for. Uh, because that's when God moving in his best. That's when God moving on your behalf. Uh, when you think he has forgot about you. Uh, God got you on his mind. Uh, God talking to somebody right now concerning you. Oh, 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 I know he's talking to Bridget, baby. The first person he better, oh, the first person he start talking to, he talked to Bridget first. And then from Bridget, he will come right down, all the way down to the body. God talking to you anyhow, because he's ready to be the God. Don't let them move you from your faith. Don't let them move you from your home. Don't let them come in the mother of a boy. And God, I keep you permission to do it. But how I'm going to know, brother, brother, God gave you permission to tell you something. The presence of the living God, he never rests when there is no peace. Lord, for my living baby, in the presence of the living he speak to the sign of his peace are you hear Terry? he speak to the sign of his peace and if that peace is not there back up glory be to God and wait on God to do this thing and wait on God to manifest it and wait on God glory be to God like the Holy Ghost had me to tell the people on yesterday oh but I was like a boy how you think Noah fails preaching the same sermon for 40 long years how you think Noah fails he didn't change his sermon matter of fact Like it's gonna be the servant and the, and, and the preacher. 
coming to the city near you. I'm only trying to get you all to understand. Faith doesn't work by feeling. It works by unknowing. That's right. That's all God is trying to tell you all. That's why he said release your faith in his word. And he that blessed the prophet, believe the prophet, that the God had God to put down in my heart. Even the greater blessings will come upon you. And that is, thus said the Lord. I'm going to let you go. Mm. I get so happy. I don't do moments sometimes. But I'm going to say to you how much I love you. We'll be back with it because I'm not through with it. Because you're going to have to understand. This is going to break the yoke of poverty. This is going to break the yoke of lack. No, baby. You ain't dealing with no foolish preacher right here. Because in fact, you know what I understand? You got a lot of pimp preachers out there. I don't play them kind of games. My heart is too much on blessing God's people. My heart is too much on trying to figure out a way how to get it to you. But I do know one thing. You can't get it at first you yourself give it. And when you give it, then you can expect to receive it. Are you hearing the Holy Ghost? You go there and you click on that, on that give a five, you pray your first prayer. And you do that in faith. And you tell God, I break the yoke off of my finances. I break the yoke of lack. I break the yoke of poverty. I break the yoke of not having enough. I break the yoke, whatever it is. It can be spiritual. I break the yoke of depression. I break the yoke of depression. I break the yoke. Call it all by his name. And then you begin to say, now, Lord, I thank you for the grace. It has come. I got to go. I love you. See you all next go around. God bless you. Yeah, turn me up, turn me up quick. I gotta go. Y'all miss my tower. It's all right, y'all. You get ready.
copy of What Makes Christians So Hypocritical Today at Bridgestop.com, Amazon, Target, Walmart, or any other book retailer. Copies are also available for download.